Hey y'all, welcome to Our Home, Our Life. This is Michelle with you today. And this portion of our channel is Michelle's Tasty Dishes. And the dish I'm going to be making today is homemade mac and cheese, but there's a twist to it. A friend of mine went to a local Cincinnati restaurant around us and they had um, mac and cheese, but the picture she sent me, they put Grippo's potato chips on top, which Grippo's is our local, um, potato chip company around here and they make the best barbecue chips ever i beg to differ with anyone to find one better they are absolutely amazing um in our opinion they're number one so i'm making my mac and cheese and i'm crushing grippos and putting them on top to see how we like it so that is the deal today mac and cheese with a twist so come on join me in the kitchen All right, guys, we're going to start out with a um, pot full of water that we are going to then put on a stove and turn that on high and bring it to a boil. Once it gets to a boil, we are going to add one package of elbow uh, macaroni, which I believe was a 16 ounce um, package. All right, once the um, macaroni is done, you want to drain that and set it to the side. In the same pot, I've added six tablespoons of butter and about five to six tablespoons of flour. And what you're doing here is just making a roux for thickening. So you let that cook a little bit and then you're going to add cheese. In mine, I'm adding one pound of Velveeta cheese and one pound of Monterey freshly shredded jack cheese. So you just wanna add that to your pot guys this is a creamy delicious mac and cheese um, i've also used hot pepper cheese um, you can use uh, i would definitely use Velveeta, but then if you you can do another cheese of your choice and the monterey jack is very good also it makes it very creamy all right next i'm adding about a cup of whole milk And then next, I'm going to do um, about a half a cup of heavy creamer. All right, guys, next we're going to add in some white um, pepper, white ground pepper. Then we are going to add in um, some pink Himalayan salt. And you can use black pepper, I just use the white. And then you're just going to melt and stir that till it's completely melted. Then I add in about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And then I take a little taste of it to see if that all blended in well or if I need a little more mustard. But it was fine, now you're gonna add that um, box of cooked noodles that's been sitting and drained. Next, you're just going to blend all that together, mix them noodles in there good. Make sure um, everything is covered. Um, all the noodles are covered with that yummy, thick, creamy cheese mixture. I mean, guys, look how creamy that is. So much better than the box. So whenever you have time, make sure to make that mac and cheese homemade. It is the best. We do use the box every now and then though. But I have a 9 by 13 um, pan here, a baking dish, and with hubby's help, we are loading that mac and cheese in there. You guys, look how thick it is. It's so good. Thick and creamy. So I'm just going to spread that out here into the baking dish. Now normally this would be about as far as I went with my mac and cheese. But since we are doing the grippo mac and cheese we're going to have to add some of that on top of this yummy dish all right guys here are my grippo chips i have crushed them up and we are just going to sprinkle them all over top of that mac and cheese i'm hoping this is a good one um, i did make frisch's a local restaurant in our area did um grilled cheese grippo's grilled cheese 
So we, or I made that and everyone actually really loved it. So I thought, well, this doesn't have the bread and it has macaroni instead. So we'll try this one. And that's what we did. I will link um, my Grippo mac and cheese um, in the box here at the end so you can check that out. But if you don't have Grippos, you can use any kind of barbecue chip, I believe. But Grippos are the best, in our opinion. <laughs> but guys, it looks absolutely delicious. Well, there it is. You're going to stick this in the oven on 400 for about 30 minutes. Look at that. We will be right back with the finished product. And there it is, guys, fresh out of the oven. Look at the crispy edges. Oh my goodness, this looks absolutely delicious. Can't wait to dig in. All right, now we're gonna scoop this out. Mmm, look at that creaminess. So good. Absolutely deliciousness. And I will say, my family killed this dish of mac and cheese. We had a little bit left over for the next day, but not much. Get a shot of the inside. Look at that. So delicious. Guys, we really enjoyed this. I hope you um, enjoyed it. This is Grippo's Mac and Cheese. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and ring that bell. Leave a comment and a like. And as always, God bless.